Hey everyone and welcome to another Pokemon card video. Today I'm going to be opening a Steam Siege booster box. This is a brand new set which is not even supposed to be out yet. The official release date is August 3rd, but for some reason people are getting these early and I'm no exception. This got here early, so I was not expecting to open this until next week, but here it is. And I'm so excited for this set. I don't know why, but I'm just like really excited. Maybe it's just because Steam Siege sounds cool. Maybe it's because... Right here we've got what looks like a shiny Gardevoir, which sounds awesome. Or maybe it's because, well, Pokemon Sun and Moon are coming out in November. And usually they release these sets every three months. I went and looked it up, and there is a set planned to come out at the start of November. Uh, right now it's called Evolutions. They might change the name of the, the set title, but what they did with Black and White, the very last set was just a reprint set, which was Legendary Treasures. So this could potentially be the last real X and Y set. The next one might be a reprint, or the next one might just be a Sun and Moon set. We'll just have to wait and see. So this might be the last X and Y set there ever is. The next one also might be the last, but there is a chance that this one is the final X and Y set. So let's go ahead and open this guy. Or actually, first off, we've got gosh dang Xerneas Break on one side, Evil Tall Break on the other, so really cool stuff to find in this one, I guess. But let's go ahead and open this one up and get started. We'll do nine packs like we always do. We'll do it over the course of the week. And also, I'll be doing another video on Friday because last Friday, I completely forgot to do the Mega Swampert video. So we're going to do that one. The pack's right back there, so we'll do that one on Friday. So it's going to be a pretty packed week. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this guy up, get ourselves some packs out, and get started. All right, I went ahead and grabbed nine packs. Actually, you know what? We haven't done this in a long time. Let's go ahead and separate these by the pack art. So we've got the Volcanion art right here. We've got the Shiny Gardevoir. We have Xerneas uh, Break and Evil Tall Break. So I'm going to separate those out into four piles and we'll do that oh my gosh it's so beautiful alrighty guys I've got it all separated out into the four piles now I've done this before and I ended up with one pile having eight and one pile having ten these ones look even so it should be nine each time but let's go ahead and do Volcanion first he's kind of the mascot of this set and also I totally saw these at the store so I had to buy them so for this set we're gonna be sleeving them with Donkey Kong sleeves because why not anyways enough chatting enough daddling on let's go ahead and open our first Steam Siege pack here we go. I can already see a Mankey right on front, but I'm going to go ahead and do the card trick here. So there's the code card right here. And let's see what we got. Starting with our three uncommons, we've got a Nuzleaf. I'm going to go slow for this one, guys, like I always do for the start of a new set. Looking super cool. Let me even zoom in just a little bit like that. Very nice. We've got a Braviary. Looks a little bit tubby on that one, but I love it. I love that flat art style as well. It's really cool. Here we've got a Lampet looking really nice. It's kind of got this weird uh, glow effect around it. It almost looks like a Photoshop uh, filter. What is it called? It's like a bevel or something like that. You guys know what I'm talking about if you know Photoshop. Here we've got Mankey, and we can see the Steam theme going through right here. So he's got this kind of steampunk looking background right here. i uh, taking a peek at the other three cards again. They didn't really have that theme, but I'm expecting lots of this Steam type uh, theme right here, which is going to be really cool, I think. Here we've got a Shellus, which is really sharp and crisp for some reason. Look how sharp that art is. Wow. It's got both colors right there. We've got a Krogunk. So far, the Mankey's the only one with the Steam theme, but there's Krogunk. We've got a Tangelo, which looks really strange. The color looks kind of off, but I kind of like it. It's all wrapped up right there. We've got a Clink. That is very, very bare-bones basic. It's literally just Clink on a plain background with some lines around him. Well, I guess it works. Okay, first pack, we've got our first break. We've got Pyroar break. We know Xerneas and Eviltal are in the set, but apparently Pyroar is as well, and he looks so cool. He's got Kaiser Tackle, 180 damage. That is awesome. Let's take a close-up right here. Of course, we've got the usual pattern right there with the little, little square patterns for the background. This is number 24 out of 114. So it does a lot of damage, but he also hurts himself. So that is super cool. All right. And let's go ahead and see what our last card is. We've also got an Amoongus. Well, there's our rare. Looks kind of cool, I guess. The background is very dramatic for some reason. Uh, but, well, let's go ahead and get some of these sleeves out so I can sleeve up that Pyro at least. Because that is awesome. That was an awful sound. Anyways, let's take the sleeves out. And let's go ahead and get our first one in a Donkey Kong sleeve. It's my first sleeve that I've ever done that's not Pokemon themed. There we go, our first car our first good pull right there, and our first pack. Let's get to the second one here. Well, we've got Meryl as well, and the art looks so cute. We'll get to that, guys. We'll take the close-up, but, well, there's the second code card there. And let's see what we've got in pack number two. Okay, we've got a Halucha. Once again, it's kind of got that weird Photoshop. It's Let me see if I can get a close-up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's got, like, that Photoshop bevel look around the edge. It's kind of weird, but 
I guess it works. Zoom back out just a little bit here. We've got a tan growth to go with our Tangela, so I guess tan growth in this set is just a uncommon. And I think this is the second card to have the Steam theme right there. Here we've got a special charge. Shuffle two special energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Okay. There's that Meryl, so cute. Doesn't have the Steam theme, but that's okay. I think it's just gosh dang adorable. It's got Bubble Drain, and it's just so colorful, dude. And here we've got a Ponyta, kind of uh, cooped up right here. Looks like they're looking out like they want to go outside or something. I don't know. But, well, there you go, Ponyta all cooped up. Here we've got a Dino, looking cool. And we've got a Litwick. That almost looks like a Kensugi Mori. Yep, you can always tell when it's the super basic art that it's Kensugi Mori. He's kind of the... the original awesome Pokemon illustrator, I guess, but yeah, whenever they got that basic look, it's probably him doing it. And here we've got a nose pass, so dramatic right there. And we've got a Tangela reverse holographic, so we don't have a back-to-back -back break, but that's okay. And we've got a Gastrodon right there. It's got Sticky Shot and Water Pulse. And I like how the Shellos and the Gastrodon both have uh, both of the different colors right there. And even the Evolution box shows both of the colors. So that's a nice little touch. Very cute. But yeah, I, I was not expecting to get back-to-back -back breaks. Normally, I only tend to get like two breaks out of the entire box. So if I even get just one more, that's not surprising. So yeah. Getting back-to-back -back would be ridiculous, I guess. All right, let's get to the third pack. Whoa, what is that? I guess we've got dual types? Okay, so I did not look up anything about this set, so I had no idea this was coming, but we've got what looks like a shiny Azumarill. Just an uncommon, but it's a, du a dual type right here, so it's fairy and water. Not sure how that works out in actual play, but that is awesome, and it just looks cool. So I guess we've got ourselves a shiny Azumarill. That's awesome. And we've got a Persian right there. There's like a Flabebe in the background. So once we see the Meowth, there might be some kind of uh, story that goes with that. I guess we'll see. Here we've got a Flaffy. Looks like they're rock walking on some kind of crazy long road right there. I still haven't seen the Mareep yet, so I'm guessing there's going to be an Ampharos here. Here we've got a Hophip, just playing in some flowers right there. There's a Mantine. Cool. Here we've got a Bergamite. A lot of people don't like Bergamite and Avalug, but I actually love them a lot. I I don't know, they're so weird. I mean, Avalug's basically a table, but I don't know, I like them a lot. Here we've got another Mankey, and we have, oh, this set has Yanma, my third favorite Pokemon of all time, only behind Poliwrath and Zoo, not Zubat, Poliwrath and Zapdos, what the heck? How do I mix up Zubat and Zapdos? But there you go, Illustrator is Match. I don't know who that is, but it's so good. Gosh dang, Yanma. And we've got an Infernape Reverse Holographic Rare. So I guess the set's also going to have the Chimchar line. And we've got a Probo Pass. I guess we got the Nose Pass before. I think the uh, Infernape is the highlight of that one. So let's go ahead and sleeve him up as well. I like to sleeve up the Reverse Holo Rares now. We still haven't gotten any Holographics, any EXs. We've just got the Break and the Reverse Holo Rare, which are both part of the Reverse Holo slot. Okay, let's get to the next pack. And I know we're going super slow like I always do, guys, but once we start to see the same cards a lot, we'll fly right through these, but I just like taking my time. That's, I mean, I'm just mostly a collector. I really don't play too much, so seeing all the new art is what it's all about for me. Here we've got a Nidorino. Let's get a little, a little closer there. We've got Nidorino. Very cool. We've got a Zuelus. I really hope there's a gosh dang Nidoking. If there's a Nidoking break in this set, oh, that would be great. Here we've got a Zuelus. Once again, looks like a Kensugi Mori art, which it is. We've got Monferno, of course, to go with that Infernape we got. We just need the Chimchar now. I love the dynamic look of it. We've got another one of these basic clinks. There's the Marie. That is a very strange look. Look at this crud. There's a lot of different art styles in this set, and I'm loving it, dude. This one is illustrated by uh, Eri Yam Yamaki, I think. Awesome. Here we ha have a Fungus. We've got the Amoongus already, so now we got the Fungus as well. Here we've got a Joltik. Awesome. One of the smallest, if not... The smallest Pokemon, I think. Joltik is tiny as crud. Here we've got another Litwick. We have a Litleo, of course. We've got the Reverse Hollow Litleo. We don't even have a regular Pyro, assuming there even is one, but we've got the Break. And now we've got a Bisharp Holographic Dual Type Dark and Steel. The two types that were introduced in, um, in uh, Generation 2. But that's so cool. So it looks like all the Dual Types are going to be Shinies, or... I think those are the shiny colors. That might just be like a different coloration. Let me know if that's the shiny coloring, guys, or if that's just some different colors. But that's awesome. Our first holographic. This guy's definitely getting sleeved up. So I guess the theme for this one is dual types. That's kind of the new thing here. They like to introduce new things from time to time. Uh, breaks were introduced back in at the end of last year. The November set from last year introduced the breaks. 
and Ancient Traits was a thing before that, so new things happen from time to time just to keep things fresh, both from a collector's perspective and also from a gameplay perspective. Okay, let's go ahead and get to this next one here. We've got a Nuzleaf, which we've already seen. We have a Pokemon Ranger, so that's going to be our first trainer card, I think that is. Here we've got an Anorith. Look at this guy. Look at his eyes, dude. So it looks like we've got some more fossil Pokemon in this set. We have another Crow Gunk. Here we have another Mareep. There's Litwick, Hopip, and we've got... There's that Meowth. Okay, we got to look and see if Flabebe is a part of this one at all, because it was a part of the uh, Persian one. I can't really see it. I'm seeing a bunch of potted plants, so I don't know if that's related to Flabebe, but... I don't see them in there. They might be somewhere in the background or something. And here we've got a reverse holographic dino. And we've got an Avalog. The guy that I was just saying I love. Look at this guy. Melting Flow. Flow's a pretty awesome Street Fighter player. Actually, a bunch of fighting games and an awesome streamer. So I hope he's not melting that guy. But there he is, Avalug. Let's put him aside. We've still got four more packs. That's how you know I'm really taking my time is when the recording stopped. It's been a long time since that's happened, but I don't know. I just really feel like taking my time in this set. Anyways, I was going to say, uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. We've got a lot more packs to come, I think, is what I was going to say. So if we don't get anything today, it's not a big deal. Anyways, we've got a greedy dice, another item right here. We've got Monferno. We've got a shield on, so it looks like he's going to be in this set as well. Here we have a bomb. Look at this guy. There's a lot of rainbows in this set, I'm noticing. So there's a rainbow back there. It's got the whole steam thing going on. And three a palms in one picture. Here we've got a clauncher. Just taking a little, little bath, I guess. Here we've got Fletchling, so cute, dude. A lot of people don't really like Fletchling. They think it's just another lame basic bird Pokemon, but I think it's gosh dang adorable. Oh, I think that's our first Suiar. We got gosh dang Dot. Not one of my favorites, but it is from my favorite generation, Gen 3. So I guess I'll take it. And there is, of course, illustrated by Sui, number 9 out of 14. Or, out of 114. Yes, this is a 14 card set. Here we've got a Drifloon. Very cool. And we've got a Make a Reverse Holographic, the first card we saw out of the set. Now we've got it in Reverse Holo form. And we've got a Pyroar. That is so cool. So now we've got Litleo Reverse Holo, we've got the Pyroar, and we've got the Pyroar Break. So we've got the full line at this point. That is a really cool art. It's got like Braviary in the background. Let's see what else is back there. Uh. I think there's some more Braviaries. I think there's a bunch of Braviaries. If that's not Braviary, let me know. Sometimes I mix up my different Pokemons. But let's go ahead and get to the next one. Three packs to go. Gosh dang, this is going to be like a 20 minute video at this point. But that's okay, guys. I don't know. I think a lot of you have wanted me to slow down for a new set. Because what's the point of flying through? It's like, hey, new set. Let's not look at stuff closely, you know. I don't know. I'm just experimenting, guys. Taking my time here a bit. But here we've got Lampent. That looks delicious. We've got a Capitate. Capitating. We've got a captivating Poke Puff. Here we've got another one of these dual type of zoom rills. Very cool. There's a fungus. Oh, Nidoran male. Man, I just want to see that Nidoking. King. I swear if they pull a thing like they did with the last set where they've got a Marowak but no Cubone, please just give me a Nidoking King in this one. And that's probably my favorite art so far. Even though it's not by Sui, that's just so good. Holy crud. Here we've got. Oh, there's another Sui art. We've got Oshawa looking adorable as ever. Okay, we've got a Pontiard. We've already got Vice Sharp. Now we've got Pontiard as well. There is another Tangela. We reverse Hollow Shallows. And we've got a Holographic Evil Tall. So there's our second Holographic. This one's actually not a dual type, but he's got all these gears going on. So I don't know what's going on in this art. But it looks cool. It's number 65 out of 114. And I love even the set symbol. is just a little gear right there. Nice and simple. But it works and it fits the theme. We've still got two packs to go. Let me go ahead and sleeve this guy up. I don't think I've missed any reverse holo rares, have I? Probably not. But anyways, we've got two more to go. I don't know why I just grabbed the one on the bottom instead of the one right above it. It was just an accident. There we go. Let's go ahead and get these guys all shuffled around. Oop, just smacked you guys in the face. It happens sometimes. Anyways, we've got a Zuelis. We have a Drifblim, yes! Dude, in my uh, Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke I'm doing, I actually caught a Drifblim, and he's so good! Holy cruddy strong. Here we've got a Gardevoir Spirit Link, so it looks like there will be Mega Gardevoir on this one. You've got Litwick, there's Hopip, 
Dino. We've got Litleo, this time not a reverse holographic. We've got another nose pass, and we've got a Sneasel reverse holo. That is just a common. How did we have how have we got nine packs or eight packs without seeing a single Sneasel if he's a common? He's got Neanderal. Of course he would have Neanderal. I didn't even know he was supposed to be a cat. I thought it was supposed to be a weevil, but alright, there you go, Sneasel. And we've got a Volcarona dual type rare, fire and grass, shimmering scales, and power hurricane. I don't know why, but the art on this one looks really washed out when I'm zoomed out, but once we get zoomed in a bit, you can see it more clearly. Looks awesome. I think Volcarona is really powerful and competitive, aren't they? Anyways, let's go ahead and put that down. We've got one pack to go today, guys. Let's see if we can get our first EX for this set. That would be such a good way to end this one. All right, here is the last code card for the day. And let's see what we've got. Our uncommons are Flaffy. All right, we've already got that one. Got another Monferno, another Anorith. There's Mareep, Mantine, Meowth, Larvesta. That's a new one. All right, and we've got a Fletchling. Okay, we've got Reverse Hollow Rare Ampharo. So now we've got the entire line for that one. And we've got... A Yon Mega. Okay, just a regular rare, but it is the evolution from one of my favorite Pokemon. So that is super cool. Anyways, guys, those are the last two cards for this one. Let me go ahead and sleeve up this Ampharos. And I guess we're going to call things a day here. We'll come back next time, and I guess we'll do the Gardevoir packs and see if we can get our first EX. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you then.